Welcome to another video in the LaTeX Tutorials, a comprehensive series. Now if I look to this one, let's say in this one I want to insert another reference as well, like an additional reference. Now in order to insert a third reference and I include it with this reference, what I do I write let's say this is my second and third references for example and here I will write a comma and now I will insert a reference here which I will do copy from here let's say that another reference which I do copy from here and Transition metal lines, dope silicate glasses. I write field assisted. So it gives this reference. Similarly, this one, let's say I copy this reference, inverted commas, and then the webtech, and I copy this, and here I come in to paste it. Let's say this is the one that I do copy and I paste after the comma here and I build this and you see that the third reference is also coming in here now if I want to insert another reference with this one so I go back there and let's say I am inserting this reference and I go to this one and then backtick and I copy all this and just paste here so this order is completely not important as I told you repeatedly and I copy the citation key and let's say I'm pasting it there and now I build this And you see that now the LaTeX understands that it was first writing 2, 3 and now as 4 comes in. So it can skip the 3 by putting a dash here. And this will not be done unless and until you write the compress here. So the sort means it will be sorted as per the order and then it will be compressed as well so this is called compression not like 2 3 4 but 2 dash 4 3 is already included in it similarly we can come to the bibliography and we can see a very good bibliography is generated like 1 2 3 4 and so on so it's very easy to insert a reference and to go on with that reference or Thus the insertion of references in a LaTeX document is very easy and we don't need any third party software to do this thing. So I have mentioned all these things here. Now we discuss section 11.1.1 editing a reference. Let's say let me go to the LaTeX document and I show you what kind of problems we can have in a document for example the very first one why this and this everything is right and vicography in this but here if you see this is tio2 now tio2 has been written in, in a wrong way rest i think is fine journal of this it has been made italic and then the volume and issue and the page number in the year so the only problem is with the tio2 so lactic actually is converting everything into small letters except the very first one and let me go to that reference and here it is this has been written as TIO2 but over here we are having TIO2 like this in order to keep the text as it is there 
we will have to enclose the text in curly brackets and now if I run this you see it has done TIO2 but now 2 it should be in the subscript so I select 2 here first click the dollar and then the subscript and I build this and I see that now it is right TIO2 so once I corrected the reference then I can copy it anywhere they will be in the form in the corrected form while in uh, EndNote if we correct once and later on we update the references then everything goes back to the original stuff okay here in this document in this reference we are having a check to this one as well and here you see absorption spectra of transition metals dope SiO2, BTO3 and Na2O this is also not right so in order to do this thing we will go to the second reference and the second reference is this one and here you can see that here SiO2, Na2O and then glasses to enclose this one in curly bracket this one in curly bracket and all these better we select from here and here and we insert them in curly brackets so it will be as it is as it they are now the LaTeX will not change them and you can see here SiO2, BTO3 and Na2O they are as it is now our second job is to select this one and convert into the subscripts so these two we will have to press again and again here and here and now i build my document and you see that it has been corrected so rest is fine and i think it's fine with the other documents other references as well and even if you see you will have to go and have a look at it then once you correct it it will remain corrected so in order to keep the capital letters in is capital we will have to enclose them in curly brackets and we can change the subscripts or the superscript if any is like this so this editing reference the section of this book is uh, treating this thing and it is discussing step by step now there is another thing sometime we are having a problem is this dash appears there and like john goldsmith now latic picket is j or is these are three names so latic picket is this to correct this either dash is to be removed from the name are the name to be split it in three which will be then written as g g smith similarly each letter of the word of a journal is capitalized biptic normally write them in a standard format that is each first letter is capitalized if it is not then do you can do manually because sometime in references as we see here material science and engineering B and some you can say the reference you take directly from the Google Scholar sometime the journal name first letter is not written as capital so you can do that thing manually but one is not supposed to do any changes here in the curly brackets or something like this in the case we want that uh, something is to be bold or in italic we want to force them then we can do like for example volume number is to be italic or the ear is to be bold then we can do like this we select that thing and we make bold face or italic like for example here 
in this article 2006 by Gonella, we want to have this as bold then I select this and I just press bold here and I make this I build this and now you can see that here it is bold but we can do all these things while we will be designing our own reference format but if required here we can do this thing okay one will have to be careful as I said earlier Biptec by default picks up a reference with a wrong format to resolve this either the corrections are to be performed manually or the reference is to be taken from somewhere else other than Google Scholar because sometimes the beginning page is given while the end page is not given so we will have to do that thing manually thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video